and we are very happy to be here at the Martha Graham offices with LaRue Allen. And LaRue, you love Hellenism, you do so much to support Hellenism, and you guys are doing a wonderful show and a gala, the Martha Graham Hellenic Connection, the Greek Connection. Tell us a little bit about this great event. Well, you know, one of the themes that run through Martha Graham's work are the great stories of ancient Greek, Greece, these timeless stories about love and war and, and struggle and triumph. And this is very much what we're basing our season at New York City Center on this year. And we're happy to be looking back at Martha's work, including the great Clytemnestra, which is a, one of her monumental works. Mm -hmm. But we're also looking forward because we have invited a young Greek choreographer to create a brand new piece for us. And Donna Faniadakis will be creating a piece based on the myth of Echo. Well, he's wonderful. We've been following his work. He's just such a great choreographer and he's so honored to be here with you guys as well. Um, Martha Graham, again, was inspired by so many myths, as you said. She put so much drama and love, but it was also feminine, in a feminine way. Very I particularly so. like the Minotaur, because she, she has a, a female Minotaur. She does, Minotaur. she does. She does, and the great story of uh, Andromache and the Minotaur, she sends the woman into the maze. Not Theseus, yes. but the woman I into love the it. maze. I love it. And you're honoring some Greeks at the gala. We are. Because we have this big tradition of uh, respect and admiration for Hellenism, we've invited three uh, Greek women in the great grand tradition who have been very instrumental in the philanthropic worlds. Uh, Princess Catherine of Serbia is a beloved daughter of Greece and the founder of Lifeline, which is an international foundation that helps the poor and children and educational causes. And um, we are also honoring Kitty Kyriakopoulos, uh, who has been uh, a very important Greek businesswoman and who, with her success, has lent her name and her fortune to many philanthropic causes. That's wonderful. And I think, I hear, you'll be in Greece this summer again. We will be. We will be in Greece again. We'll be in Athens, in Thessaloniki, in Kavala, which is a new site for me. I've never been oh, to Kavala. It's great. And we're going back to Ithaca. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, we look forward to seeing you and all of you get to this event. Do not miss this show. New York and City Center. New York City Center, March 19th. Get your tickets now and also look out for Martha Graham uh, with wonderful work showing in Greece. wonderful Greek choreographer Antonis Fornevakis, who is Cretan and was invited by the Martha Graham Company uh, to choreograph a wonderful piece for March 19th, a, a tribute to Hellenism because Martha Graham was such a fan of Hellenism and a lot of her work is inspired by Hellenism. Yes, it is. She's done many plays like uh, Clytemnestra. I mean, she has been uh, really I think um, fascinated by the Greek culture, and a lot of her a lot of her body of work is really characteristic because she treated like uh, myths and uh, tragedies, and it's been really like important, and for her towards Greece, but and for Greece through her work, yes. it has been a kind of a great collaboration. Dramatic work. Very and, uh, dramatic, very dramatic, and you know I love I love the work of Martha Graham because she's so I would say I don't know if this is the right word visceral. She's so like strong, you know, and uh, somehow emotional, but then again very very feminine, very very strong. I got fascinated when they asked me to do this piece. I was really excited because uh, I myself, when I was in the school, I was um, I had classes of her technique when I was younger. So after so many years, being able to step into her company and like, you know, um, work with her dancers and be around her legacy and like getting all this information. Uh, and, right. adding, and adding with your work. Yeah, this is, this is of course why, why they brought me here. 
Uh, in the beginning I was a bit uh, excited, but more or less afraid in the beginning because, uh, you know, it's hard when like such a big legacy, such a big company brings you in and you you want to bring somehow your style, but then again you're always afraid of the comparison, you're afraid if you're going to make it and stuff like that. But right now that I'm all, almost at the end of the of the creation, I'm much more excited than stress. Actually, I'm not stressed at all because the company did a wonderful work. Mm -hmm. They work hard with me. Of course, it's a very short piece. It's a, it's a piece of like 17 to 18 minutes. It's mm -hmm. not a huge work. What are you calling your work? My work is called Echo and it is inspired by the Greek myth of Narcissus and Echo. Mm -hmm. Simple as that because when I got the invitation to, to make a piece, there was this discussion about uh, the theme around uh, Greece. And as you may know already, the gala has this uh, connotation about uh, the connection of Martha Graham and the Greek culture. So therefore they wanted, I suppose, a Greek choreographer. Um, I think they're bringing as well uh, 20 young Greek dancers to be a part of, a, of another piece. From the school, yes. From the mm -hmm. school. And the wonderful part about this gala uh, is that they are bringing uh, the uh, Hellenic uh, Dance School mm -hmm. here. Twenty-one students are going to have the uh, privilege to perform of performing with you in the city center. Yes, yeah. actually, it's the National uh, Dance School of Athens, and they have a small department. Actually, not a small department. They have created this uh, dance company, young dance company, that's called Hellenic Dance Company. So they are collaborating with Marta Graham Dance Company because I don't know which piece. I haven't really made my research uh, so uh, precise on the, on the matter, but there is a piece where they need like around 25 or 30 people on stage. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're trying to bring them that's from wonderful. Greece and support this idea of the Greek connection between Marta Graham and her inspirations. Yeah. Having such a wonderful, great career and the privilege to have choreographed in so many different countries. Mm -hmm. Tell us some differences. Tell us what you've taken with you and what has evolved within you from all your experiences. Spe specifically in, in New York or in general? Well, let's talk about New York. New York. This is the second time I create in New York. I did a creation last season for Cedar Lake Contemporary Ballet and I've spent uh, two months in the city creating. And this is my second uh, creation based in New York. Uh, what I get from, from creating in this city is like a sense of like uh, speed, things are, are happening fast and you have to be productive and you have to be right on the point with not many delays. So this keeps me a bit like alerted. Mm. Um, of course it's a great city to be in and creating because once you finish your rehearsals you have so many things to do and get even more inspirational things. In general, it's, it, every time I create here, the general feeling there is a kind of a bigger energy than other places. Other places back in Europe maybe have a bit more comfortable time as well due to the time like I created this piece Echo in a very short amount of time mm -hmm. uh, so everything therefore everything got densified so my senses and emotions were much more alerted than if I would be in another city. Do you feel more creative when things are more relaxed or does this give you a different type of inspiration mm. and creativity? This energy? Depends. Yeah. Depends. It depends. You know, so, uh, an artist, uh, I suppose, we are all uh, affected from the environment. And sometimes you can, affect, you can get affected in a positive way yes. or in a negative way. That far, here, it has been positive. Positive. It wasn't yeah. at all negative. How are things in Greece? What advice do you have to give to aspiring dancers? Uh, general Greek dancers or just dancers? Dancers in Greece. Oh wow. Trying to I was, I was pursue now, a career such as yours. Listen, I was now in Greece and I, I made a creation for my own dance group and I based on purpose this creation in Athens because I, I joined an international group of dancers and then there was a Greek young talented dancer. There is many, many talented people in Greece, but right now the country is going through a great uncertainty financial, financially, and people cannot get jobs. And even if they do get jobs, they don't get paid. So my advice right now in a Greek dancer, if they cannot uh, have a, an opportunity to have a stable work and they still have this will and drive to dance, 
the better get themselves out of there. The better go and like fight in another market, in another country. Because after all, this, this profession demands and uh, you have to go over yourself. It's not a profession that you sit quietly and then you expect to have your salary. So you need to like push yourself. So I think my biggest advice right now for a Greek dancer, if he wants to dance, he better start looking even more outside because the way I saw it in Greece, it's a bit limited now. Mm -hmm. So if they want to make it, they better make it now because dance is a very short-term profession. You cannot be dancing for the rest of your life. So about a young dancer, if he thinks things are not moving forward in Greece, then just take a suitcase and, and go. And go. Mm -hmm. That's what I did when I was young. Is that young. what you did exactly? Yeah. 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 You started in Greece. Tell me a little bit about yourself and how. Yeah, you very fast. I started. I started in Creta. I was doing traditional Greek dances, and then I went to Athens to go to the state dance school. Actually, the same school that is performing here at the mm -hmm. city center with us. Spent two years there, and then I did an audition for Bejar School in Lausanne, and then he accepted me. And there, everything starts like changing and you in my life. In Europe, yes, yeah. it's totally different environment. When you experience works in Europe. That time, it was even much of a bigger difference. Now borders are open, influences are easier, you know, like we shift things between countries, so it's easier. But still it makes a difference. Have you, what is it that you have not done yet in your career that you still seek to do? In my career, well, well I love choreographing and I've choreographed many companies, many different styles. Recently, I had an experience in the movies, I'm doing choreography in the operas, so I may say, I may say... You're living your dream. <laughs> uh, I may say I've done many aspects of, uh, of this career. Uh, what else is there to do? Like maybe a musical or maybe... Um, depending on choreographing, I've done literally almost everything. Mm -hmm. Then if I want to speak beyond choreographing, like what comes after the career of a choreographer, there's things to hope, hope uh, for and things to prepare, but that's a bit too soon. I'm still enjoying what I'm doing. Well, we're very excited to see your piece. Yeah, I'm excited and to, to share it We're very happy to have you. you here in New York. Yes. And we're very proud that you're Greek. I'm proud too to be a Greek in such a hard time, yeah. because I believe like moments like this, when there are people being active and like giving a, a sense of like, a positive sense about the way we see the country, of course, it's. It's a very nice thing to feel.